it looks like uh, the old business they talked about. I don't see anything that's really on there, period. You know, they're saying uh, there's nothing there. They were talking about what they were wearing, so no medical attention, you noticed by then that was your, you know, accident that you're looking at. So I, I did hear something the other day. I do appreciate what they did. Someone did hurt or felt a pull or whatever, and that person did what they're supposed to. They did report it, and no action was having to be done. They did what, you know, is required by workers' comp, but it has to be reported. So, you know, I, I do notice, I have noticed just in my couple of days here that the employees are doing what they're supposed to be doing, even though some employees said, oh, you don't have to go tell them. That's not the true thing. It's supposed to be reported, you know, just to have a record of it. Does that have to be done? But, and then I do know that, uh, what is it, next month? Or is it next week that uh, we're doing fire safety training? Yeah, fire safety training for everyone. So it'll be out at the line. They'll be starting fires and putting them out, and then it will be done up in this area. I think twice. You know, be up in this area. The dispatch will be notified, so we don't send people out. They don't need to be. I think one of them burned bad. <laughs> no, it was empty. Okay, we got a difference. We have we have a fire department here. Okay. Uh, uh, should be raining. Okay, it must well, be busy well, Monday and for like a couple weeks anyway. Right. No, but it was lifted. Okay. No, no, it's supposed to be sunshiny next week. All next week. It's only the year a few minutes. Minutes. So, I'm sorry, that's all I have well, on that. Like I said, I can bring a better report on that next time when I have more, being more familiar with those things. Well, you know, you know, Anything you know, Mr. Lowe? Yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah, Oh, we got to take a page there. Yeah. Page two, I didn't take it out of there. All right. <laughs> Discuss electric system as general information. Outages for the month. I didn't know we had a page two. That's our first timer for me. So I got to start watching for that. That's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> outages for the month. Okay. That's okay. I had to so uh, the two large ones, what I, what I was reported, was on uh, November uh, 28, reclosure outage it says it's affecting 534 uh, customers in the Eden Valley subdivision and Whispering Oaks subdivision. It says it is a one hour, seven minute duration. Cause, limb, you know, on the line. So, you know, that's one of those things that we need to make sure that we're doing is, you know, following up with our tree trimming and stuff because there are the lawsuits now that burns down or whatever, you know, utilities done. So, you know, we, we, need to, that, yes. we just need to make sure that we are doing our tree trimming properly in that aspect. So, the next one was uh, December 19th. Uh, DC 20 out of defecting uh, 1,761 customers. North of 775. I don't know these directions yet. Uh, and east of Highway 181, or where that is. 30 minute duration. Uh, 8.03 a.m. to 8.33. Calls was reclosure feeding uh, the Creekwood subdivision. So, really and truly, that should have been handled through SCADA. Did a guy, men didn't have to go out to that, did they? I bet. See, eventually we get SCADA set up right. That, that could be corrected from inside in no time. So if we get on the skater project and, you know, get it all implemented, what it can all do, our guys could have done that within instead of done that. That 30 minutes is pretty quick, but it could have been done maybe in 5, 10 minutes on that aspect. It's verifying that everything's clean on it and stuff like that. You might have to put ice on it. So uh, those are the, <coughs> excuse me, those are the two things that I have there. Uh, appreciation letters. All right. Now I asked how this goes, <laughs> and I've heard rumors that some of these were read to you, or you can summarize them. They're very lengthy. You say you got one good and one bad. <laughs> no, there's some dirty or yummy or <laughs> we haven't got those in all. All right. So this is I don't know how to pronounce it. Right. Plus, you learned the language. You learned the names. Kathy. Okay. <laughs> Saying thanks for the arrangement, the brightener day, uh, recovering day to day. So thank you for that. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but you did receive one for her. Uh, Stockdale Garden Club, uh, Stockdale Masonic Lodge. Lunch one, which is a huge, uh, huge success. Thanks for the donations to the businesses. They're not really, I don't see one that they said 100% to us, I guess this was a generic that they sent out to everyone, but they said thank you for the contributions and stuff on that. Got another one from Sharon. 
Thanks for the donations and the beautiful plant to the Arnold Harvey Family Funeral Funds. Aww. So, did receive that. Do y'all want me to pass these around so y'all can glance at them? No, thank you. No? Okay. Is <laughs> 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 that a dinner date or something? <laughs> so, this is a, uh, <laughs> a shout out to, uh, from the uh, Chamber of Business member that supported this. It's our new uh, map of Floresville, Stockdale, Wilson County have arrived, and um, Phelps is on there, so they're saying thanks for the contribution to you know, the maps and stuff. Where, that we what's the county stock show? Troy Oldwood. Really? Saturday. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you buy anything? That's the next one. Huh? That's oh. the next item on the Oh, I was saying, there's not another thank you note if there's supposed to be. Yeah, we did contribute to both the Stockton County yeah. and the Lavernia stock show. The, the lock is where it was. Take it over the harbor. Yeah. 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 We do the buyer's pool, so they mm. just divvy it up that way and we don't. So, Probably next month you should have letters possibly for the thank you for donating to the pool funds and you could have letters from 30 people, how many ever on that. So we'll summarize those from the students and stuff like that of who's doing that instead of reading every single one which has a list of the names saying thank you for even had that. You want me to read them? Yeah. <laughs> they ain't that many of them. Come, they come in over time. They're, yeah. The kids aren't on the ball for that first year. You'll get a couple out of them. But they'll trickle in I mean, for the rest of the year, really. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? We're good? You good? I am. Anything you want to talk about? It. I am good right now. So let me share what I've been doing for y'all real quick, if I have that right to do that this second. I think so. So the last couple of days have been very busy with, first day was just solid meetings, never left, you know, period from here, meeting people. So first of all, before you, I'm sorry, before you, when did you actually start? Monday. Oh, okay. So we met Monday, had a meeting starting at 7.30, and then we had a leadership meeting at Two. two, which is going to be real short. That was a couple of hours. <laughs> so we came to the consensus kind of during that, that that this utility needs to work on unity, culture, and stuff of that nature. So all the senior leaders that were sitting around here, they all have an assignment of a meeting on Tuesday of ideas of how we're going to start addressing that. Because there's just, you know, a lot of it is we're not all together. Everyone's in three different places. So there, you have a communication issue. You have this line of sight issue. You know, you have line design possibly here when they're work out there with the line crew. So we have issues of the facilities. You know, so there's different ideas that I've asked everyone to come back with, and we're going to write them down. Some people might have a big one and it ends up with one word or nothing on their stuff and we'll, with the you know the team finally starts coming up with some ideas of how we're going to work on you know the culture and improving that, that every single one when i went down the road they all agreed that was the number one issue that needs to be worked on so you know that's one of the things that we're going to try to look at and work on on that aspect and then they're still a, you know my goal is is for everyone to still have input of things that we need to work on as a utility. Like I told them, I'm not driving from here. I want everyone to be a team and we all play together. They should be getting information from their staff here and stuff, and that's what we need to work on. You know, you know I might throw out some things that I'm seeing. I'm still in that uh, aspect of where I wanted to just look and you know do the listening and not really say something. But this culture thing, I believe we're going to have to start moving on a little bit faster than what I was expecting. You know, so there is some talking a little bit of how we can all improve the culture and everyone work as a team on that aspect. Because like I mentioned to everyone that was sitting around here is that one person, I can't make this utility 100% great without everyone's help. Okay, and I've told everyone that. But there is one thing, one person can ruin this utility. Mm -hmm. So we have to work to get that one person onto the team to help move this and make it great. Because this takes everyone. Like I mentioned to you all in the interviews, I don't care what your position is, you, you have an important position. If not, you, would never, you wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. So everyone, I don't care if you're, if you're a groundman, an apprentice, if you're a custodian, everyone has an important position. It just depends where you are. You have good ideas, you have good input. We, we need to take that and we need to grow on it. And the people that submit those things, they're getting the recognition. I'm not going to take it. I'll take the heat, but I'm not going to take everyone's recognition when they're doing a good job and everything else. And that's something that I want to understand. 
So that's the main thing that we're looking on the aspect. Like I said, everyone's bringing me the projects they want me to look at and say where we're moving and stuff like that. Because I think they've been on hold, what it sounds like. They've been working on it, but they've been hold kind of on the design and some talking to get some good understanding this way we want to go. So that's some of the stuff that we're moving on now. Like AMI stuff, when we talk, we're going to start moving on that. If, if there's any way possible, we're going to start doing that. You know, if they're not, they're going to give me a darn good reason why, you know, they're having those problems or the issues that are on there. Not you. I'm talking about the suppliers and everything else on that. Because I think once we have that, we have the staff that's willing and wanting to roll and get it done. It's just that we might be held up a little bit right now on some of the stuff by outside forces. So that's what I've learned so far when I've been here this meeting. But my plan is I need to get out to, to the line crew area this afternoon. So my goal late this afternoon about when they're getting ready to come in or so, about 3 o'clock, I'm heading that way. So I can, so they can see me, just meet me. They might not want to see me, who knows. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to meet them and show them that I'm here. They can come talk to me so we can get some stuff moving. And like I said, let them know that we need to work as a team to, you know, improve the culture and the feel around here. And then, then I think everything else will start falling in place on that aspect. But a lot of it, like I said, it goes to everyone. So, you know, please don't take this anything wrong, but it always starts, even with me, even with us as a board, you know, y'all as a board and stuff. So it starts everywhere to, in, in, you know, to make everyone feel this way. You know, we need to have, you know, some of the stuff that's not always going back. And, you know, and we talk about stuff, but if they always, if the employees always hear that there's major fighting from board members, I'm not saying it ever happens, it gets to them and it's like they go back and forth. It's like we need to have a good culture on boards and, you know, management needs to have a good culture and employees do also. So, you know, that's how I'm hoping that everyone will eventually start moving and then I think this utility will be in, you know, pretty good shape because the system looks like it's in good shape. It needs some, a couple of things, but, you know, we're, we're, we're in a good, it's a good spot. Thank you for, for taking the approach uh, with the employees and the leadership within the company. And like we talked about during the interview, maybe form a leadership uh, within, the, within the county, maybe with your city managers and public floors on the stock mill and uh, some of your, your EDC director and meet the superintendent, hospital director, and maybe have a, a quarterly meeting or something, see what's happening in the community. I'm, I'm planning on getting out is just under, yeah. you know, yeah. kind of overwhelming the first couple of days. I didn't quite expect well, we understand you know, that. 100%. <laughs> yes, sir. A, a real quick deal. <clears throat> I've been here a year, and, and we've talked about retirement. we talked about retirement. <clears throat> we haven't ever looked at any numbers. And and the thing that that I'm getting from the people that I'm talking to is, is they don't know where they stand with their retirement program. And... and we have a committee, but we haven't ever heard anything from the committee. And do we need to pay somebody to come tell us as a board where we actually stand, what's going on, what can we expect, what do we need to do to make it better? Because our employees have a, a thought that they're not going to have their retirement program there the way this board is acting now. And so we need to do something as a board to, to put this thing to rest because we're not going to ever get the culture changed until we either disprove people that are making statements that aren't true or we act on things that need to be done. I have two things that I've already asked for. One, I asked if the employees are getting a statement every year showing what it is and what their retirement would be. Because usually you get those, whoever the actuary is, you should get those every year. And from my understanding, you haven't had those in a few years. Yeah, those would be the second year. Yeah, so Somewhere those should be off. coming out. They should be, and if they're not, I've asked HR, I've asked uh, them to make those calls to get those coming out to the employees. So, because normally those come out and they show where you are, you know, currently where you are at 62, where you are at 65 and stuff of that nature on those things. That would help on that aspect. The other thing is to help on your aspect. When is the next meeting? The quarterly meeting is in February. In February. So my thing is, is we should bring in someone with that sits on that committee. The, one of the employees, and then share that information with you to make you feel better of where we are on that. 
But let's wait until that next quarterly meeting so they can have some information. Well, yeah, the GM is the chair of the committee. Oh, thanks. And so <laughs> that, we, had, we started down paths of looking at different options and doing different things. And then, of course, with the GM not being um, in that position any longer, we had to we had to wait. We had started down that path, but it's got to go the right way. So those are the two things, like I said, I, I will share that information, and if that's where it is, but the other thing is I want them to find out why the employees are not getting this information. Because, yeah, if I've invested and that's my pension and I'm not getting anything from the actuary or where we stand, I would, I would have an issue with that. That's just me. So I will try. I, I talked to them yesterday or Monday, those two days together, to start working on that aspect to try to get that to the employees. So that will help them. And like I said, I can get some answers then. And then then after that, we can find out how, how to roll that out to make sure the information is good to all the employees and they're not hearing it third hand or something like that. And like I said, a lot of times my plan is after this meeting, after board meetings, the next Monday I will be at the uh, safety meeting and sharing that verbatim to them, you know, kind of the in, things that went on and let them know instead of them hearing it third hand. So, you know, that's, that was my goal. Since they're so far away, it's like they're just in a different spot right now. And, you know, me personally, it's not unity, you know, of that nature. Like I said, I had never seen them. You know, I see the people, you know, the first day I didn't see the people in that building because I never left this building. <laughs> so yesterday I finally got out there because we had a meeting out there. So it's kind of back and forth. But like I said, this afternoon after three or so, I'm headed that way. And, but then, like I said, Monday I will be out there. Uh, in sharing some of the stuff that we spoke about here and go from there just so they hear it from me they'll already have heard the information but they wouldn't hear it from me I feel like you need to hear it from me because I'm not like I said I'm, I'm not one that's going to sit in this office and hide not me I will go share that information thank you we applaud you for that it mm -hmm. takes a lot of courage okay. thank you. <coughs> well I mean you're not going to give everybody the answer that they want, <coughs> yeah. but at least you give them an answer that this is where we're working, and this is what we're working for. And like I said, I think if you had that piece of paper, it'll make you feel a little bit better. You know what's what, of how much money is there, how much is there, <coughs> what my portion, and stuff like that. That's what's on that paper. You usually should get that every year. I'm shocked mm -hmm. that you haven't. Yeah. Okay. We will work on that and get that to the employees. You know, so me personally, if that's one of the issues with the employees, that should help a little bit when we start rolling on that. But, you know, and then we'll go from there. But that's that's where I've been. I just want to let you know what's going on. It's it's just busy meeting stuff right now, and then trying to get these projects. You know that uh, SS30 moving, and then also the AMI meter moving. So you know those are the key ones, and really they're both going okay, except for it sounds like we're having some issues with the metering. You know I'll get on that and help out since I know the person that's doing all of that. Not here, but outside the organization that's in charge. I know him. So I'll just make a call. Good. I have him come into the office or we'll hand it over the phone. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Are we going to vote on it? Are we going to vote on it? Is this arbitrary or what? No. <laughs>